Come on, Mickey, don't don't cool Steve. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. It's on the steel claws and the green ladies the steel point and the dead the ending the story no not the ending of the story yes it's because I told you In the bonny blue highlands where the bagpipes play lives a creature called Nessie. But it wasn't always this way. Before her great loch had ever been seen, shy Nessie lived life on the moors of Glen Keen. She was rumoured a monster. Which wasn't quite right, for she was really a softie with no bark and no bite. And with a wee friend that she had, the kind, loyal and true, they played hide and seek in a pond, just for two. Until one gloomy grey day, at a quarter past two, from some distant dark land, a tartan clad crew. With no time to waste and a toot on a bugle, no expenses were spared for Tycoon McFrugal. This place is perfection. It's just what I need. With a few slight corrections, it'll be heaven indeed.
small protests fell on naught but deaf ears. Brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Nessie's anger burned bright. Her eyes flickered with tears. Then a friend scolded and told her, Keep a stiff upper lip. Don't cry. Be a brave heart. Chin up now. Pip, pip. Nessie gritted her teeth and decided to pack her whole kit and caboodle and her dear friend, McQuack. She set off to search for a new pond they could surf, a place with no golf clubs and no astroturf. But every pond was empty, every well was dry, Every trough was spoke for, yet still she had to try. She travelled each road and sought out every route. But instead of finding home, poor Ness got the boot. And the reward for her efforts, it was always this quip. Only we babies cry. Chin up now, pit. <laughs> Nessie finally pooped out. She'd reached the end of her rope. Where do you go when there is no more hope? She stifled a whimper and a lump in her throat. Chin up now, pip pip. She recited by rote. began as a trickle, soon turned to a shower. Nessie cried and she cried, she cried by the hour. She cried cups and pitchers and bottles and buckets, she cried tubs and barrels, quintets and quintuplets. For days Nessie cried, nay for weeks on it went. So one day she sniffed, her tears finally spent. In surprise, she looked up. At McQuack there, a float? Duncan and a bobbin and what looked like a boat? Nay, it was a lake, a great loch. Nessie gasped in delight. Sure, it was paradise with no golf tee in sight. Nessie learned herself a lesson in that bright and happy day, and it bears worth repeating. No matter what folks may say, dinner be afraid to cry. It really is okay. Sometimes it's through our tears we find a better way. As for Nessie and McQuack, well, they're still there, I guess. Forever playing hide and seek all along Loch Ness.